This time, it's a do it now, think it later video. You know what? Someone is playing with matches lately. Everyone? Maybe, but I felt that we need to do this video. We really need to do this video um, to put you on the safe side and myself as well. Uh, I have here Horizon 9, some of you might have Horizon 9, 7, whatever, um, X3D, especially the X3D. Um, don't let it burn, don't let your sweet Horizon burn. So stay tuned, subscribe and I'll show you what to do and think it later. We all know about the recent events. Ryzen 7000 CPUs are frying. Don't let it burn, please. The first thing you need to do is check out the board partner page. Have a look and check if they release the BIOS version. Fix it. Do it. Do it now. Some do not have that luck, like Gigabyte. If there is no fix for you, then it's time to head out to your BIOS. But before we go, get Hardware Info Monitoring Tool and look closely. You may want to go straight to VSOC. Check your current reading, your max reading. Stay safe under 1.3 volts. Don't forget to check VDDIO Memory Controller. Again, the same. Stay under 1.3 volts. In the meantime, you can also look at your V-Core voltage, but I'll show you how to lower this value later on. Don't let your sweet Ryzen burn. Once you're inside BIOS, it's time to tweak out into safety. Check out that Expo value. Is it on? Good. Drop down to CPU SOC voltage now. Look carefully. Do you get above 1.3 volts? Uh oh. Put it on manual. And set something like 1.2 volts. That should be enough. Do the same for VDDIO memory controller voltage. If you can't find these on your BIOS, you can try the search option. If you have it, finally, it's just save and exit. Well, that is it. It's easy, it's fast, it's maybe painless, will safeguard you somehow until you patch it up with new BIOS. Um, I hope it was helpful, so don't forget to share this video, toss it around, uh, like it, dislike it, uh, Whatever, man, but see you next time.